the relevance of this is that during the time when the colonialists came from Europe, found themselves on the east coast of the United States, they met the Iroquois Confederation of First Nations, six, between five and six tribes in the eastern seaboard in the New York, what we now call Eastern United States. Those tribes were highly organized had been around for thousands of years. And about 2,000 years earlier, 1,000 years or so, 1,500 years earlier, they had had a visitor who established a code of conduct for them, which then became the rules that they modeled their civilization upon. Now, I know this is a little far from the Gita, theoretically, but I want you to see the connection here. Because it turns out that as the United States became united, they needed something to unite upon. And what happened was they were given the Constitution that is now called the Constitution of the United States. But it was actually given to them from the First Nation tribes who had received it from an avatar in their culture, from a descent of the divine, who had given a set of rules of conduct that were instituted in their society in a representative way so that life would be preserved. Now, I wanted to make that correlation because it's the only other place on the planet where we see a deeply concerted effort to cooperate with one another and have, you might say, Mother Nature in charge of the show, as it should be. The other place where this happened uniformly and universally was the culture of Bharat of India. And there, there were masculine and feminine divines. And those masculine and feminine divines were, first of all, the players who were making life, called devas and devis. Secondly, they were the leaders of civilizations. And as I said, in the culture of North America, its indigenous culture. What happened some 1,500 years earlier was the tribes of First Nations were all slaughtering each other with terribly violent weapons, very hurtful, violent weapons. And this avatar appeared in their midst who said, okay, listen up, we've got to stop doing this. And that person instituted first planted a huge tree and the tree dug a hole at the bottom of the tree and all the First Nations groups brought their weapons of war, which were terrible and violent, like all weapons of war, and threw them into the hole, buried them. And when they did, an eagle landed on top of the tree. That's the same eagle that the United States of First Nations birth, birthed by the First Nations, America and Canada, the United States, the whole North American culture, got its idea of democracy, not from Judaism, Christianity, or Islam, but from the Iroquois in the East Coast of the United States. And the eagle that had landed on their tree when they decided not to kill each other, but to cooperate, became the bird of America. There's a little joke that goes with that. Actually, they had a contest, a popularity contest between the eagle and the turkey. And the eagle won, but in America, we eat the loser. 